And we're live. Good evening, beautiful people of the You Create the Dream page and welcome to our first Awake in the Dream for 2022. Here we are already. <clears throat> Do say hi as you come on. Let me know that you're here. Excuse me, I have a little bit of a <clears throat> tickle in my throat. Uh, how are you? Have you had a fabulous start to the new year? I would love to hear all about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And whilst I'm waiting for a few people to come on, I'm just going to have a quick sip of tea. And here we are. We have people coming on. Happy New Year. Let me scroll down and see who we have. Uh, Marina, good evening, beautiful. First as usual. Nicolette, how are you? Happy New Year, ladies. How are you? Did you have a great start? to the new year how was your christmas um, valerie hello hello beautiful lady how are you welcome 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 everybody here we are our first live for 2022 happy 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 new year um valerie is saying happy new year everybody um how are you ladies i want to know how you are i want to know if you've had a great start to the year so tonight um on oh, nicolette Oh my goodness, honey, I hope you're okay. Sending you much love. I'm not sure if you're wanting to share here or ask any questions, but um, sending you so much love, honey. So, so much love. Um, Marina, so nice to be back with everybody. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so Marina, you are, and Valerie, you guys are part of the Power of You program. I haven't put the reminder post up yet, but we have Breathwork tomorrow night. So this is the Breathwork in lieu of the one that um, didn't you know go to plan last uh, last year a long time ago <clears throat> all righty so tonight um what i want to share tonight um i have some insights and guiding thoughts um, that i'd like to share with you tonight specifically for this year and what's going on um as well as a, a slight change in the awake in the dream call or um, you know what has been our weekly call all of last year i think we probably even started in 2020 so um, Awake in the Dream has always been you know, for you with the intention of supporting you through this time of transformation. And you know, you know, I want to continue to do so and I want to continue do, to do so in a way that best serves you and also works for my extremely tight schedule. And I used to have Audrey Tuesdays. So um, every second Tuesday was my day with Audrey and uh, this year, as of next Monday, every second Monday is Audrey and Harvey Day, so I have both the kids. And whilst I did think about, um, you know, having their mum actually pick them up and then get straight into the call, whilst I did think about doing that, I also have a whole day's worth of work to catch up on. So what I've decided to do is to, um, the Awaken the Dream call will, um, from tonight's call onwards, be fortnightly. So the next Awake in the Dream call is the 24th of January. Now what the intention is to do with that <clears throat> is um, to be able to give you more time also. So rather than the 40 minutes or so that we usually spend, um, they may run a little longer and I may also look at every now and then turning one of them into a masterclass of some sort for you. Um, yeah, for me, I'm really picking up on the vibe on the planet. I'm keeping my finger on the pulse. And whilst I don't share a lot, um, you know, I, it's a tough one. Whilst I don't share a whole lot of everything that I believe is happening and unfolding, um, what I do share is what's necessary to inspire you to stay in alignment for with the highest vibration. So I'm hoping that makes sense. Uh, Danielle, good evening, good evening, beautiful. Are you still away or are you back home? Valerie, um, Oh, Valerie, <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Sending you much love too. Um, interesting, interesting times, interesting times that we find ourselves in. So um, for anyone, I'm assuming that you know what is the, <laughs> uh, the virus. Um, so what I would highly recommend, um, and maybe everybody could consider just getting an arsenal together, you want to actually really work on strengthening your immune system. So Valerie, I know you've done Reiki, I know your mindset's great, so lots of hands-on, also requesting hands-on um, from, you know, hand, sorry, hands-on if you can, but also uh, requesting distant healing from others is great, so put yourself on our Reiki page. 
Um, also for those <clears throat> that are looking at, oh, Danielle got back last night, beautiful, beautiful. So um, hope you had a fabulous time, honey. So you want to get yourself an Arsenal's, you want, now I'm not sure if I'm saying, if I'm butchering the name or saying it correctly, quercetin, <clears throat> you want to get that. You want to get vitamin C, you want to get zinc, you want to get vitamin D. Those four things are a protocol that has helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Um, it actually prevents you from getting it, <clears throat> excuse me, prevents you from getting it, but also um, moves you through it exceptionally quickly. It's an incredible immune support. Vitamin C and a high dose of vitamin C, but vitamin C by itself, um, you really need a carrier and the zinc is perfect for that. Marina, um, like he who shall not be named from Harry Potter. <laughs> I actually haven't seen any of the Harry Potters, would you believe it, Marina? <clears throat> Valerie, Eric too, it was very hard to keep vibrating high, got very low at one point. I'm so sorry, honey, I really wish you would have reached out to me. Um, Katerina, hello, beautiful, how are you? Happy, happy new year, everybody. Alrighty, <clears throat> excuse me, so for those that are just joining, our Awaken the Dream call will from here on be fortnightly. Um, and if you'd like to understand why, I shared it at the beginning. Um, but um, yes, and the Audrey and Harvey thing, I'm so excited to be spending a day with both of them. But I also want to, you know, be the best version of myself each and every time I see you. And I've obviously got a full day of work to catch up on on the Mondays that I have them, which I do of an evening. Valerie, I got onto the Reiki page. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't see it. I had no um, reception at all whilst we were camping, which was kind of bliss-like. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry I missed it, honey. Alrighty. So, uh, that being said, I want to move on to um, tonight's words of wisdom, tonight's guidance. It is very much about this year. Um, <clears throat> And, and just maybe getting you into a, a alignment. I think that's probably been the big thing that's come through today as I, as I thought about what it is that I wanted to share. It was very much about what is it that I can do? What tools can I provide you with that are going to get you into alignment? Because there is this push-pull, right? There's the, there's the fear-mongering, there's the stuff that's going on, but then there's also the call to be more and that's what we want to be focusing on we want to be in alignment with that rather than getting ourselves dragged into the other stuff because we always have a choice we always always have a choice eileen i see your name and i think of the song <laughs> hello beautiful how are you Alrighty. so here we are in 2022 a little bit about this year um that i you know that i feel that you need or that i want to share with you as i mentioned i want to give you some tools so, so as to navigate this time with ease but one of the big things around this year, and i've got a few keywords but the first word i want to share with you is the importance of breaking free marina yes i feel like i'm being pulled left right and center absolutely marina and this is it and and the thing is this has been going on what's been going on has been going on for two years right so or just about almost two years so there's the wearing down the breaking down so for me you know when i question like what is it i can do because i can share with you the insights that are coming through and all that sort of stuff but then it's like well you know is that of any real value where is the real value and the real value is to give you the insights in how to stay in alignment is to give you the insights in how to stay vibing high and you know be part of what raises the collective consciousness at speed i have a lot of people that are reaching out to me and like, how long do you think this is going to last for you know when are we going to get a break etc etc and you know what my standard answer is it's up to us it is up to us and we move through this period as quickly as it takes for the collective to rise okay and that's collective consciousness it's consciousness so um and we are going to feel like we're pulled left right and center but there are things that we can do to reconnect there are things that we can do to stay in alignment there are things that we can do to really thrive during this time so that's what i'm doing and then you know as, as i talk about this stuff tonight you're actually going to see why a lot of my posts have been the way that they have been for a period of time now so um the first key word i want to share with you is break free so this year it's really important to break free break free of what holds you back all of it all of it the pain the trauma the trapped and unhealed emotions 
break free of the self-imposed shackles, the self-imposed limitations and the doubts. Now those things that come from our subconscious programs, but they also come from the constant voice in our head that tells us that we're not enough, that tells us that we're not good enough, that compares ourselves to other people, right? So we do all these things, we have this noise in our head that convinces us to stay small, to play small, but at the same time, we are being called to be more, to step up and to be more. And you can't step up and be more if you're continuing to play small, right? So there's a bit of push-pull happening. So it's important that we break free of those self-imposed shackles and the doubts. It's important that we break free of the corruption, the control, and the greed that has been imposed on us for a long time that we think is normal that we think is just life, right? So it is a, about breaking free from the belief that I have no choice, the belief that I am not in control over this, right? So this stuff has led us to forgetting who we are. It has led us to forgetting how truly powerful we truly are. So the questions that we could ask ourselves are, you know, what is holding me back? And if it's not in, you know, if it is not of the vibration Oh, you know, if it's not of a higher vibration or the vibration of where we are headed, because I know I need to travel light, if it's not of that, then I set it free. And it doesn't have to be painful. Sometimes it does, and you have to be brave enough to go there. But what's going to what's going to happen? You're going to cry. You might, you know, fall in a heap and pound the floor a few times. But it, this too shall pass, right? But you set yourself free because you understand that the, the emotion is moving through you because emotion is energy in motion. Emotion is energy in motion. So then what you do is you realize I'm falling into the depths of myself to set to allow this to come up and out because it's not of a vibrational match to where I'm headed. And it's not a vibrational match to you know who I am now compared to where I used to be yesterday, right? Because every day is about evolution and growth. So you, you know, you allow the emotion to come through. I spoke to a lady just the other day, um, a client of mine that was struggling and she goes, oh my God, I'm crying. I'm falling in the floor and I'm crying in a heap. And I'm saying, God help me. I go, but this, you know, I know that you're, you're, you're reaching out to me because you're feeling very broken right now. And I have so much empathy for you. But whilst I'm sitting here and I'm having empathy for you and I'm holding space for you, at the same time inside of me, I'm doing a happy dance because I'm going, Oh my God, this is it. This is freedom. This is your freedom because you are allowing yourself to go into the depths of darkness to allow that emotion to like, like an eruptive volcano, right? To come out of you and you are setting yourself free. It cannot fit. Think of the oil and water that I often show. It cannot fit. It is, it cannot remain. It is not of the same viscosity. It is not of the same vibration. And if it's not of the same vibration, as I've said many, many times, it must come up to come out. So shifting ourselves and breaking free of these things can be easy. It can be as simple as a thought coming to mind and you go, you no longer serve me. You no longer serve me. Or it might mean that you have a breakdown. But remember, the darkest hour of the night is the hour before dawn. Always. So you know, what is holding you back would be a question that you would ask. What in your life is still controlling you? Where in, you, in your life do you feel that you have the choices taken away from you? Where, what in your life are you desperately trying to control? Like, where are you a control freak? Because the thing is, once you understand that the only reason you're a control freak, a control freak is because of a need for safety and security, then you can ask the question, why is it I don't feel safe and secure? So these are the things that need to you know, come up and out. These questions, you know, as you ask them, are likely going to lead you automatically to thinking about something in your external world. Because we naturally, we tend to think that something outside of us has to change. That if something outside of me changes, then everything will be okay. But here's the thing, the very thing that you're seeking lies within. The freedom that you are seeking lies within. The, all of it, the healing, it lies within. The better version of yourself 
starts within. All of it starts within, right? It is always you, which gives you the ultimate power because it means I do not have to wait for anyone or anything outside of me to change. I do not have to wait for somebody else to do something to help me because it is in me. So all I need to do is go in. I just need to go in and I need to set myself free. I need to recognize what is not of the vibration of who I am being called to be. And if it is not in alignment, that shit can get out, right? Simple as that. So the freedom, everything that you desire is within you. And when you realize that, that no one, no one can have control over you. No one can have control over your life. Everything changes. You are precious. Your life, your time is precious. So stop wasting it on meaningless things, on meaningless issues, on issues that don't matter and certainly don't serve where we are headed collectively. Be here. The moment you focus on your breath, you are here. Be here, be here. Choose thoughts that expand your consciousness, that expand the kind of person that you want to become. Because whatever person you want to become, that's going to mean you becoming more than you are right now. And then when you get there, there's going to be more expansion. So maybe expansion can be a word for this year. Start to choose to see things in a better way. See things in a better way. Choose to see things more clearly with your eyes and your heart wide open. And don't make everything all about you because this is about the collective. And the beautiful thing is we don't need everybody to wake up. Thank God. We just need enough people. And with enough people, it's a tipping point, right? Everything changes. I've missed some messages here. Um, I had a fall on Christmas Eve, many bruises around my left side. I'm so sorry, Katerina, sending you much love. Glasses broke and a black eye. Oh my goodness. All right, sending you much love, honey, too. Um, do you know, I'm going to say 70, 80% of people that I know have had some really crazy stuff go down during the Christmas New Year break. Some real, like, and, and you know, early on into the new year, the first, the first few days of the new year, some, some crazy things have happened. But again, what forces us to fall flat in our butt and go within even deeper? We have to be stopped. Okay? And we don't have to, if we actively work on diving deep, then we don't usually need to be slapped pretty hard. <laughs> but um, sometimes a rug needs to be pulled out from under our feet. Um, Nicolette, definitely something inside. Marina, I still have things coming up and out all the time. I've now started asking why did that come up? Yeah, or, um, okay, so it came up to come out, okay? It came up to come out. But what I would ask them, Marina, is um, what did this experience teach me? Because you want to turn it into something of value. It came up to come out, but you know, what wisdom, what tool did I gain from this experience? And I'm going to preserve the learnings and let the rest go, right? So I would be doing that. Nicolette, um, what about defining it? How um, I recognize when I'm stuck, but can't seem to work out what it is that has suddenly changed day to day. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eileen, best friend died 31st of December. There's been so much stuff, so much stuff. I'm seeing it all around me, all around me in, in my, my own world too. Um, I'm so sorry, Eileen. Okay, Nicolette, um, defining it. So, Nicolette, um, what I would ask, I would tap into it. And if you have trouble tapping into it, allow an image to come to mind that represents it. Because when an image comes to mind that represents it, now it is here in front of you and you can talk to it, right? And really connect with that image. Is it black and white or color? Notice all the things. Like, so notice all the things about this image. And the image doesn't matter what it is. It could be a frying pan. Whatever it is, okay, this image represents what's going on for you. Tap into it. Notice, you notice all the things about it, right? Give it a voice and then ask it. For what reason are you here? What message do you have for me? What is it I need to do in order for you to go away? and go down that rabbit hole and then and then repeat it ask it so okay so if I do this and this and this will you go away if it says no perfectly fine it's only because it has more messages for you right do that ask the questions 
what else do I need to do? What else do I need to do? And then just simply a, a visualize it coming up and out. I would try something along those lines. Um, yeah, Eileen, I'm so, so, so sorry. So sorry to... Um, so many, so many people, so many people suffering, so many people you know, dealing with a lot right now. Okay, um, where was I? Um, raising our consciousness. Okay, this is the collective thing, right? I mentioned in March 2020 that, what, year before last, um, that this is not about a virus. It is not just about a virus, that there was so much more going on. And, you know, I mentioned this at the very beginning, way before the mention of a vaccine even, right? There is so much more at play here and our own personal evolution is forcing us, each and every one of us individually and collectively, right? Our own personal evolution is forcing us to do a major spring cleaning. It's forcing us to do a deep, deep dive, a deep, deep healing, a deep clearing, a, you know, a, a deep clean, basically. Um, and Marina, um, said that you know she's noticing more and more things coming up right um marina i saw a really good um i'm assuming that's a quote today um if you don't take time to focus on your wellness you'll be forced to notice yeah and take notice of your illness yeah absolutely i have heard that before um nicolette i read that in your book joe um you would do this when you first um communicate with spirit thank you i can't express words Okay, love you. Da, 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 that was me finishing reading the rest of it without the need to read it out loud. Um, yeah, tap into it, Nicolette, because we can communicate with, you know, with every cell in our body. Everything is frequency, everything is vibration. So we're collectively and individually you know, being forced to go even deeper than we have before. All of us, all of us, me, myself included, right? We're being asked to make more empowered choices, choices of higher vibrations. Okay, choices that honor you, choices that get you out of life's waiting room. Stop waiting, stop waiting, you know, for the right time because there's never a right time. Stop waiting for the right person, stop waiting for the right amount of money because all you're actually doing there is making excuses. You are sabotaging yourself and choosing to stay the same no matter how much you say you want to change. So what we're being called to do, hello Stacey, how are you beautiful? Happy New Year. Um, so what we're being called to do is to be open and aware of every single opportunity that presents itself. Every opportunity that presents itself, be aware of it, be open to it. And you know, I assure you that there will be many this year. There will be many things that present themselves to you this year and you get to decide what it is that you're going to do with it. And you need to understand that you are the one that is always making a choice because you always have free will and choice, right? So if it feels right, if an opportunity presents itself and it feels right, so you know what to do, hand on your heart, hand on your heart, focus on your breath and ask, is this right for me? If it feels right, take the opportunity, do it be it whatever it is that you are called to do and i'm not saying that change and stepping forward won't be scary because sometimes it is sometimes it feels so good and you're so passionate about it and you're so excited about it that you just run right other times it's like oh my god i know i have to do this but i'm, I'm, I'm what if it doesn't work i'm a little bit scared right sometimes that's how it's going to feel for you but if it feels right then you have to take a step forward in faith. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to stay stuck in fate and you're going to be living, your, your tomorrow will be your predictable past and you don't want to do that anymore. If it feels right, do it. Because let me tell you, when you finally say yes, when you say yes and you take action, because saying yes, a commitment with no action, is like like doing nothing right so when you say yes and you take action you will be supported the universe does have your back and and like in all fairness doing it the other way like doing it the way you've done it in the past it hasn't really worked for you anyway it hasn't really worked anyway create the life that you want no more excuses no more excuses 
Danielle, we spent three weeks caravanning through New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, no TV, radio, most of the time no mobile service. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, arriving back to Canberra has been completely overwhelming. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Um, but you, here's the thing, and I've talked about this in the past. Um, I know I talk about it in my programs. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in Awake in the Dream. A lot of people count the days down to their dream holiday or whatever it is, right? And then they come back and it's like, oh my God, reality. And then they count down for the next holiday. What we all need to master, this is no different than the meditation. What we need to master is the art of bringing that feeling into our 24 seven. We must learn to bring that feeling into our 24 seven. So Danielle and your trip, you would have been present you would have been present, you would have been playful, you would have been in awe, right? Taking photographs, it's like, oh my God, everything is so beautiful. Oh my God, look at the sunset. Oh my God, look at the sunrise. Oh my God, this, 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 right? And, and you're just in the moment, seeing everything, experiencing it, right? But now you've come back. You need to bring that feeling. That feeling, you know, it was three weeks, right? Three weeks of having that feeling so awake within you, you want to bring that into your 24 seven. Um, Nicolette, sorry, but I have to go, no problem, honey. Uh, Valerie, since mid-December, I've been seeing at least um, once, sometimes more than once, <clears throat> excuse me, all the ones, fives, fours and sevens. Um, re reassuring, especially when I felt unwell, there is never nothing happening, as you know, Valerie. So, Create the life that you desire, no more excuses, no more excuses. So in 2022, our key words are going to be break free, which I've spoken about. Choices, okay, making more empowered choices. Clearing, if it is not a vibrational match, if it is a part of my old predictable past that hasn't really worked for me, bugger off, clear it, right? Clearing, compassion to come back into heart-based consciousness. Okay, so compassion, community, the importance of recognizing that it's not about me, for me, etc. It is us, that there is power in, to, in us being together. There is power in community. Okay, so um, community, togetherness, love, standing strong, um, openness, and be one, holding, Excuse me, I feel like I just had something in my teeth. Um, holding the highest vision. Now, what I mean by that is holding an incredible vision of how you want your life and your world to be, but you hold it um, uninterrupted. Okay, it has to be an uninterrupted vision. So you don't hold it for a couple of seconds and then it's like, oh shit, I've got to do the dishes or um, oh, I can't do that, that'll ever happen for me. Nothing ever works out for me, it works out for everybody else, but not for me. It's holding that vision. And if you can hold that vision for 68 seconds, just over a minute, if you can hold that vision uninterrupted for just over a minute, you are going to be triggering an incredible magic, an incredible magic for you, for us. So hold an uninterrupted vision and very important, um, everything's very important. Um, be free of fear, be free of fear. It's so, so important that we are free of fear because when we are free of fear, we will see things a whole lot more clearly, a whole lot more clearly. We are living in incredible times, you know, and it's evident that there's a lot going on around us, but we have the capacity to move through this at speed. We are the ones that decide how quickly we get through this. When I say we, the collective, right? It's an incredibly magical time the energies, the vibe, we have so much on our side. So um, as I mentioned earlier, so what I want to share with you tonight is you know, some tools that will also support you. And let's start with maybe even considering some affirmations created specifically for this time. So one could be, I claim, <clears throat> Danielle, thank you, I feel like I can breathe now. Breathe, 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 breathing is important. Also think of an affirmation. Breathe all those feelings, Danielle, bring them. Bring them into your moment. Bring them into your moment. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I claim and stand strong in my spiritual energy and power. 
because there's a, the energies, the frequency that is being offered to us is huge, right? So um, I would do an affirmation around that. It has to resonate with you, but something along the lines of, I claim and stand strong in my spiritual power. I am safe and here to walk through this time with ease. I am safe and here to walk through this time with ease or in ease, whichever, with ease. Um, we are here because we paid for front row tickets, right? We are here to contribute to this time of transformation. We are here because we have everything that we need. We are here because we have, you know, um, because we're meant to be here. We're meant to be here. Our entire life has been in preparation for this moment, each and every one of us. Um, I have free will and honor the free will of others. I have free will and I honor the free will of others. That's another good one. Um, how about a breathing thing? I breathe in the new, or I breathe in the new higher vibrations, allowing myself to feel, to grow, to heal, and I release anything of lower vibration as I exhale. I like that. So effectively, it's in with the new and out with the old. At all times, I am choosing. At all times, I am choosing. It's my life, my choice. And I think that's a powerful one because we are reminding ourselves in each and every moment that whatever I'm thinking right now is my choice. Whatever I am feeling right now is my choice. Okay, Marina, um, I had one yesterday appear on my phone. Inhale, exhale, um, with every breath, I inhale calmness, peace and gratitude. Oh, beautiful and perfect timing, obviously. Perfect timing, beautiful. So um, there'll be lots of changes, okay? But like I said earlier, you know, we're here for that. We're here for these changes. We have our front row seats. We've been called to be here. We chose to be here, right? Um, we chose to be here for this moment. And um, <clears throat> from there, I want to lead into some of the posts that I've been putting of late. Um, I've had a lot of people reaching out asking me about the fact that, you know, I'm encouraging a lot of people to grow their own food. Um, and then, of course, I've got my solar oven cooking videos, um, which I purchased for a number of reasons, but then we were going camping, so it was a perfect time to practice a few things and then use it when we were camping and make Martin's birthday cake and I made all these divine foods in it. But um, a lot of people have actually reached out. Um, oh, Valerie, God love you. Um, look at that, taking notes. All right. So, yeah, so people have, actually, people have said to me, you know, I've just no, I've noticed that you're encouraging us to grow food. Can you show me how? Um, how long do things are going to last for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I want to talk about this for a moment. Um, I've always talked about the power of being in, like being in nature, and connecting with nature. And one of the best ways to do that is to grow your own food, to really get to know the earth that you stand on, like your space, um, to you know, get your hands in the soil, to plant a seed so graciously with so much love before it's even sprouted right to give thanks from the very beginning to you know the, my, the very first time I water a, a seed once I've planted it I visualize that it's light coming out of the hose and I'm always giving thanks and things like that right but to lovingly nurture your food literally from the ground up is so amazing and it is so healing it's of course, you know, seasonal eating, which is a lot healthier for us because we're eating what grows in our area. But the thing is what grows in our area, there's a symbiotic relationship with us and nature. It grows in our area because it's what's needed in our area. Now, what's really fascinating is I have bushland right behind me and um, there was a, a weed that was coming up on the other side of the fence. We we're quite tall, tall on the fence, right? Mum said to me, oh, you've got to get rid of that weed because you know the seeds are going to blow in here and you're going to end up with it all over your lawn and you can't get rid of it. And I do have one that's grown here. But then the bush, it's um, called, has a few different names. Um, Oh goodness, I've forgotten now. I think one of them, the main, its main name is like Mullen, Mullen, M-U-L-L-E-I-N, I think. 
there's um, bush toilet paper, there's um, sheep's ears, like uh, people have different names for it, but it's this plant that has these plush type leaves at the base and then it's a really tall stem with yellow flowers, right? When we were camping across the river, it was full of them as well. And you know, what I noticed is, which I hadn't known until just the last few days, but um, somebody put a post, someone locally put a post about this weed and its health benefits and I ended up looking it up. It is amazing, amazing for inflammation and respiratory stuff. Now, what have we got going on? Well, this, you know, it's causing a whole lot of inflammation and respiratory stuff, right? And there are different ways to make your medicines from this. But I've been living here for maybe six years in this house and I haven't seen it so prolific. Actually, I don't think I've seen any of it, but it's been so, in Ginnabine I had a lot of it, but it's been really prolific here. There is a symbiotic relationship with nature at all times. It is always providing us what we need with what we need. Now, I'm not saying this, what, what I'm sharing with you has only just come to mind now, but I'm not sharing this because of that plant. What I'm sharing with you is the symbiotic connection that we have. Um, Aaron's, I've never heard of it as Aaron's Rod. I looked it up the other day oh, and Marina's saying it too. Okay, um, it's interesting because of all the names I remember reading that people have known it to be, um, I didn't know it to be that one, but thank you. All right, so um, there's a lot of it at the moment, right? So our foods are seasonal, but what grows in our space around us is for us. And it offers us the highest nutrition, right? And further, like more than that, is the level of connection that you end up having with the earth. The level of connection and gratitude that awakens within you by really getting to know the soil around you, by getting your hands in the soil, by growing something, you know, from, from scratch. There's, there's, a, it, there's a magic that awakens, a deep connection that awakens within you. And it is, it's, it's truly magical. So over the past couple of years, I had mentioned several times in these calls and also in my online programs and definitely in the one-on-one -on -one calls, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and, and said, what should I do? What should I prepare? And you know, things like that. And I had always recommended buying some extra supplies. Okay, just every week, just buying a little bit of dry, dry food, right? Um, and the thing is too, every time you shop and you buy a little bit more, you can use the stock that you had bought previously. This is what I had been saying to people. And grow more of your own food. Work on becoming more self-sufficient. Because here's the thing, when the need, when and if, I'm talking about this for two reasons, when and if the need arises, then you know, if, if the time comes where you actually need it, the time for preparation has passed. But it's too late. It takes time from planting to plating. And now here we are, right? We're finding ourselves seeing these food shortages right now. What I will say about the food shortages is that this as well is not just the story we've been told. It is not just because of staff shortages. I know mainstream media is pushing that story. It's not just because of that. This is layered. And I want you to remember, and, and zero fear, zero fear, zero fear, because we are incredibly powerful, zero fear. But think about it. He who controls the food controls the people. There has been a massive amount of fear mongering that has been happening for a long time now, a long time. But here's a beautiful gift. There's such an incredible gift in this because if you don't plug into the fear and if this instead leads you to putting your hands in the soil, if this leads you to growing more of your own food and to becoming more self-sufficient and less reliant on anything and anyone outside of you and more connected with the earth, which naturally leads you to eating more nutritious foods, but also naturally leads you to becoming more intuitive, then how amazing is that? You are not separate from nature, you are one with nature. 
nature is our home. So the other things to consider, common name, great mull, and um, we have it everywhere. Ah, oh, there you go. I, I hadn't heard of it as Aaron's rod. Although, um, you know, that has like rude connotations. <laughs> um, stop it, Joanne, stop it, you'll throw yourself off. Um, alrighty, so where was I? Okay, the other thing to consider is that everything is always in plain sight and you will always be given guidance you will always be given hints both um, your own intuitive guidance but also let's just say I'm going to call it mainstream but it'll be there evidence will be in front of you and it will always be there um, before something else is implemented that's why it's so important to have zero fear because when you have zero fear you see clearly when you have zero fear, you are here, you are present enough to see things clearly and to see all things. Now that's also why, so think about it of late, I've shared a lot of my garden, okay, my garden, my gardening photos, things like that. But then the image I shared yesterday, the image I shared yesterday on this page, it's an ambiguous image where you get to see, it was yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. It is on the You Create the Dream page. If you haven't seen it, then I highly recommend you go see it. But in that image, it's a black and white photograph and, and the, the, what I've written is great, but um, I'm basically asking you what you see in the image. Do you see both the young and the old woman? So if you haven't seen it, um, do check it out, Danielle. <laughs> Mind out of the gutter, girly, Eileen. Um, I can't help it. I can't help it. My, my, I think so fast and in layers, so I'll get, and that was the one I grabbed. Um, <laughs> you guys are gorgeous. Alrighty. So yes, if you haven't seen it, do check it out. Now I do these things. The reason I do it is so as to open you up to seeing everything. Because when you see everything, when you start to question, is there something else here? Is there another way of looking at it? Am I missing something? When you start to ask yourself those questions about every single thing you are seeing and you are hearing and feeling, all of it, you question everything, right? The more you do that, the more you are going to tap into truth. The more easily you will tap into truth. So nature is our home. Not the stuff, not the bricks, not the mortar. You know, you might love your home and that's great. You know, it, it, this is not about not loving your home. You can love your home, but nature, Earth's heartbeat, its life-giving energies is not separate from us, but we're forgotten. We're forgotten. Uh, Nicolette, I'm still here. Um, so grow food, grow food. That's a tool. So we have the affirmations that I mentioned. We have the keywords that I mentioned, um, the affirmations that I mentioned. We have um, uh, grow food, like seriously, grow food. It's good for you on so many levels. Grow food. Um, also, another tool I want to talk about tonight is um, playing music, right? But specific music. So consider playing music in your home that sits at 432 hertz. I'm going to get into this a little bit. I'm not going way down the rabbit hole. Um, you can do some searching on that yourself. But um, music that sits at 432 um, hertz is, um, it, it connects you with nature, right? It, it's, I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, where do I want to start? Okay. Yes. Sorry. All right, 432 hertz, right? Now, the reason I'm mentioning this music is because it's something that is incredibly easy for you to do. No effort, something that you can play very quietly in the background throughout the day, um, throughout the night if you wanted to, but throughout the day, so you don't want it loud enough that it's disturbing you because we're, our brain is constantly taking everything in, right? It changes our brain waves. So what I'm, why I'm sharing this with you is because it's easy to do. And really, you have no idea to what extent mind control has been a part of our existence and how long it's been going on for. 
I teach hypnosis, so I understand the playbook. You know, when I see headlines or when I see things happening, I go, oh my God, like freaking clever, freaking clever. If I was on that side, right, they've nailed it. They've got it. Okay. So when I, you know, marketing, marketing campaigns and how they do it and all that, I understand the playbook. I understand the tones and the sounds that are going to affect your brain waves so as to have you believing something, etc. right? This is why I'm sharing this with you so that you can actually do something as simple, no effort here, so there's no excuses, but so that you can play this in your surroundings and bring yourself back to nature and peace. That's why I'm sharing this and I will share with you other tones as well, but 432, right? Um, music can be healing and it can be damaging. So I want you to think about it. Music is frequency. And the subliminal messages in music start with the frequency of the sound, the audible pictures of the music. There's not picture, like in a picture, but a pitch, <laughs> pictures, P-I-T-C-H-E-S, um, pictures. Um, so it happens in the pictures of the music, not with the words. So far before the words affect us, you know, the words in a song, the music in the background is subliminal. Okay, I'm um, Danielle talking about growing food. Our neighbor has just brought over some homegrown vegetables. How's that for a sign? Beautiful. Here's the thing, Danielle. Maybe you can speak to your neighbor and see what they're growing and you can grow something different and you guys can share. Okay, how beautiful is that? So 432 Hertz has been called the beat of earth. It is earth, it is nature. Different hertz have different um, effects, affect different chakras, sorry, right? So they, um, they are specific to each chakra. They also have an effect on each chakra. So as an example, 432 influ influences the heart chakra and it is very much about healing. Anything below 432 is damaging to the third eye, which is what? The mind, the thinking, right? It damages our third eye. So um, I'm just trying to work out how deep I need to go here. I don't know if you know anything about fractals and the golden ratio, which is basically, um, oh, they're too deep, too deep. Anyway, if you know about fractals, or maybe even look it up, fractals and the golden ratio, you will understand this more. Actually, think about a head of broccoli. This is the easiest way to explain it. Think of a head of broccoli. The, the little floret is the same as a head of broccoli, right? So patterns within patterns within patterns, that sort of thing, right? So 432 is the pure tone that is consistent with the patterns in the universe. It also resonates with 8 hertz, which is the Schumann frequency or the Schumann resonance, which is technically Earth's electromagnetic beat or Earth's heartbeat. And this particular tone, it makes us feel better. It makes us feel healthier. It makes us feel more connected more connected to ourselves, more connected to each other. Um, what's that, Danny? Oh, that's, that's what Danny and I were going to do, grow different things and swap. Perfect, perfect. So maybe Danielle, Marina and, your, and the neighbor, you guys can all do that, right? Um, big fractal and golden ratio fan, Danielle, me too, I love it. A big topic, but I love it, so there you go. Um, yeah, so 432 resonates with the patterns of the universe. Um, is that what's used in sound therapy? So the Hertz, yes, is, is about sound therapy. Okay, so we have sound therapy, we have light therapy. I'm going to touch on them both a little bit. But just so you understand what's, what they've done to music, as early as 1885, the Music Commission of Italy wanted to use a tuning fork that vibrated at 440 Hertz. Okay, which is different from the original standards. So prior to that, and this is why classical music does something, you feel it, right? Um, so prior to that, the original standard of music was 435 hertz. And 432 hertz had always been used in France. So the Italian Music Commission wanted to change it to 240. America put us 440, sorry. America pushed for it in 1917 and then again in 1953. But here's the thing, in 1953, they signed a worldwide agreement. 
okay, they signed a worldwide agreement declaring that middle A on a piano would be tuned to 440 hertz. That way, no matter, you know, if a piano is properly tuned, no matter where you went in the world, you could play a piano and it would sound exactly the same. So what happened back then is it became a standard tuning, it's, uh, for, for, like for, literally for all, all musical instruments, right? Now, I'm going to leave you to go down that rabbit hole yourself. It is big, but I'm going to let you do that yourself. Um, as you know, as to why it changed from you know, 432, 435 to 440. Um, so I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail here, but what I want to explain is that they changed it, which changed us. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be transformed. It is frequency. It is frequency, it's energy, we are energy, right? These things affect us. So what I want to say here is that binaural sounds and frequencies very quickly change our brainwave patterns. Oh, Marina, I'm so going down that rabbit hole. I could give you a lot of rabbit holes, honey, a lot of them. Uh, I've known about this for many, many, many years. Okay, so, um, yeah. Oh, see, and this is the thing, I'm kind of into this. And <laughs> anyway, um, so if music and frequencies, binaural sounds and frequencies can adjust our brain waves at incredible speed, then they can dumb us down at incredible speed. We can be easily programmed. Now, if um, music can be healing or harmful, then, and, and then, let's just say I don't know what you want to call the powers that be or whatever it's at play that we're not meant to remember how powerful we are we are not meant as in we are meant to but part of the the game is that we don't remember how powerful we are right so what if they've tried to dumb us down what if these binaural sounds <clears throat> have contributed to the program, have contributed to health. We can be dumbed down or we can be elevated. What we listen to can damage us or heal us. Absolutely everything is energy. It is all frequency. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be transformed. So what are you allowing yourselves to be transformed to? Are you allowing yourselves to be transformed to a higher vibration or a lower vibration? I'm going to share with you some of the things that um, I have and where I got them from. Um, but um, sound healing is powerful. Light therapy is powerful. What you expose yourself to affects you. There has been an incredible like, dumbing down of consciousness for a very long time via what we see, via what we hear, via what we eat. So what is it you're going to change? If you want to change anything in 2022, change what you see, change what you hear and what you eat. There has been a tactical plan to keep us suppressed at a lower vibration. And, you know, people have forgotten that they have a choice. Whereas, you know, we're, we're busy and it's just easy to grab this and do this and do this and do that. But is it serving us? We have a choice as to whether or not we stay a part of the program or whether we step out. We always have a choice. What was that affirmation I mentioned earlier? I think um, Valerie wrote it down. Um, I am choosing. I am choosing. I said there's something else that I said, but it was around reminding ourselves, my life, my choice. I am the one making the choice. I am choosing my thoughts. I am choosing my feelings. I am choosing. Choose what you watch. Are you really seeing it all for what it is? Are you seeing it clearly? Are you seeing the truth? Are you seeing behind the veil? Are you seeing behind the program? What are you choosing to listen to? Is what you're choosing to listen to raising your vibration? Is it creating wholeness and healing? Or is it destroying you at a cellular level? What are you eating? Are you eating highly nutritious foods or just grabbing a quick snack because it's about filling the gap, filling the hole, right? Are you completely reliant on a company providing food for you? If so, how much control have you given them over 
you and your sustenance. You know, we need to question these things. So if you want to feel more connected with nature, if you want to heal your heart and, you know, and your body, grow food, listen to the music, you know, 432 hertz, because it is nature. It is the patterns of the universe. So could you imagine how deep and healing that would be to reconnect you with earth? To reconnect you, where can we find? Um, so on YouTube, there, there are a lot on YouTube. Um, the only issue I have with some is I'm not sure if all of them are actually 432, um, but you can get 432 and I'm actually going to give you, actually, um, Valerie, I remember when you came to your training, possibly the Reiki, do you remember the music I had playing? Even though we were out in the training room, I had music playing in the lounge room and I had asked everybody if, if there was one particular track that wasn't working for everybody just to see where people were at. I'm not sure if you remember that because I definitely had um, what I have playing. Um, I've got quite a few, but one of my favorites, which I will share with you. I had that playing when you were here. So 432 is going to help you to um, release stress and tension from your mind and from your body. It's going to help to bring you back into balance. It is going to connect you with the harmony of nature. Okay, it like deep within the harmony of nature. And therefore, if you're connected with nature, it is going to stabilize your blood pressure. It is going to stabilize your heart rate. Okay, and um, like it's an incredible, incredible sound healing tool. Incredible. It's great for detoxing. Um, Valerie, yes, absolutely. Okay, so it was that, that music, Valerie. Um, it's great for detoxing, to get rid of negativity to bring you to that sense of peace. And when you're in that beautiful sense of peace, that other shit's got to just go. It's got to come up and out, right? So you can find lots of it on YouTube. The music I have, which I'm going to share with you now, is Mind Vibrations. I'm going to double check that. Um, I, I've had, had a lot. This is beautiful. Um, so it's literally um, Mind Vibrations. And I have all of his stuff. The just inner healing is 432 just so that you know what the, the um, Hertz is um, love connection is 639 Hertz awaken intuition is 852 Hertz spiritual oneness I, I love this one 963 Hertz DNA repair 528 Hertz um, deeper sleep is um i think that's 174 but um yeah so mind vibrations this is what it looks like you'll find a website um and you can download music from there are there any questions about that at all uh, marina everything i've always been interested in is all clicking into place with this call beautiful beautiful marina so um music is extraordinarily powerful but with our music, you know, um, in, in the 1950s being then, you know, transformed to 440 hertz, it then affected the, the mind, right? And it con has contributed to mind control. And then you only need to look at some of the really full on dark type music that's played and the state music puts you into a state think about some of the dark music and the state that a lot of the young kids go into it's about lowering the vibration we need to raise our vibration so reconnect with earth reconnect with nature allow yourself to heal but I, you know because i was trying to think of ways that i could help support you in 2022 and the growing the food thing is important you know on, on several levels but then to further enhance that by having this music playing softly in the background, it's going to naturally reconnect you with nature and get you on that beautiful wave to that beautiful place that we're headed to. Um, Nicolette, I believe essential oils have different levels too. Yeah, different frequencies. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with the music, play it softly in the background. It sounds like it's actually playing now. I don't know. Um, I'm hearing things. All right, so um, with the music, play it softly in the background. It doesn't need to be loud and you will notice the benefits exceptionally quickly. And for myself personally, I actually can't work. I can't write if I have songs playing in the background. 
but I have a beautiful Sanskrit prayer of greater miracles, which I can play, even though that's words, I can't understand it. I can play that softly in the background and I can write exceptionally well through that. And I can also write really well with this music. So it's not distracting, but it's just oh, centering you and bringing you into a beautiful space. So um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. And um, whilst I'm waiting to see if anybody has any questions, again, a reminder for those that uh, weren't on the call at the very beginning, our Awake in the Dream call will now be held every fortnight. Um, so our next one is on the um, 24th of January. Okay, so every fortnight. And um, as I bring to tonight's call to a close, oh my goodness, uh, Nicolette, um, I'm not sure what the oh my goodness is for. Is it because I'm not going to be here next Monday? I don't know. Every second Monday, for those that weren't here, I have my grandchildren and whilst I can ha you know have uh, actually pick them up and then come straight onto the call i also have an, a full day's work that i have to catch up on um and so our calls will be longer than the 40 minutes every fortnight but um and, and possibly master classes as well i want to be my best self when i turn up here for you guys and obviously it's my tight schedule and everything so i was wanting to support you and also do what i need to do as well um, Danielle, all this explains so much. I've been fascinated with these topics my whole life. Beautiful, beautiful. You're gonna love going down the rabbit hole, Danielle. You'll love it. And there's lots of amazing music out there. So as we bring tonight's call to a close, I want to remind you that this year, first and foremost, breaking free, okay? If it doesn't serve me, I'm letting it go. Break free, question absolutely everything. Eileen, thank you for tonight. You're very, very welcome. So break free of every single thing that no longer serves you. This year is about being aware of the choices that we make and to recognize that in every single moment I am making a choice. It's about clearing, it's about compassion, it's about community, it is about togetherness, it is about love, it is about the high vibe, it is about standing strong, openness, and hold the highest uninterrupted vision. Hold a vision, feel it, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, celebrate it as though it is here. Hold that vision. If you can hold that vision for just over a minute, then go you, you are amazing and it's fantastic because that's what'll get us there quicker. Hold the vision. Choose wisely what you watch. Choose to see clearly, question everything. Is there another way of seeing it? Think back to the post I put yesterday. Most of you, if I hadn't have mentioned that there were two images in there, most of you would have actually just spotted one and gone, oh, I see a lady in there, young or old, see a lady in there and kept scrolling. There's more than that and there's always more going on. So question everything, choose to see everything absolutely clearly. Choose wisely what you listen to. The frequency of everything that you listen to matters. The words might be beautiful, but if it's sitting at 440, it's really not doing us any good, okay? So choose wisely what you listen to. Choose wisely what you eat. And please, uh, grow food, grow food, <laughs> grow food and please, um, whenever, whenever you can also, you know, just for a while, just try and get a little bit extra dry goods, store them and you buy foods that you would eat anyway. So nothing's going to waste. It's not about waste, but it, you know, there might come a time where maybe you don't want to deal with people. You don't want to get out of the house or whatever it is. I'm, I'm not saying they're going to be trapped at home, but there might be times where you just, you know, need stuff and just don't want to get it. Or there could be some more shortages. You know, this is all very much dependent on how quickly we can move through this. But um, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of extra dried food. Grow your own food. It is rewarding on so many levels, on so many levels. Um, Danielle, thank you so much, Joanne. Feeling so much better. Great tune up. Um, oh, I need to scroll back up. Uh, Katarina, thank you for tonight. Inspiring. Marina, thank you. I hope you have a lovely week and enjoy your time with your grandchildren. I so will. I so will. Thank you so much, Marina. Um, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you. Um, have a fabulous evening, a fabulous week. For those in the Power of You program, we have our breathwork um, session tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. I will put a post up tonight um, on the page. And I am here. If you ever need anything, reach out, um, you know, this page you create the dream is for you so feel free to put a post up ask questions and i will be sure to answer them whether by text um yeah I'll, I'll comment to them or i will do a video much love to you okay sending you many many blessings love you all good night